Welcome back. I have been working on this 65 Malibu SS and I ran into a lot of discrepancies on the car with the factory gauges, specifically with the ammeter. If you look at any wiring schematics for 64 and 65, they show that this car should have a ammeter shunt. It's a resistor that's wired into the ammeter. And people say it exists, people say it doesn't exist, that a 65 shouldn't have it, and it shouldn't have it. But let me explain uh, what it does and what is taking the place of the resistor in this car now. The shunt resistor creates a low resistance path for current to pass around another point in the circuit, which would be the ammeter. Uh, they show pictures of them mounted next to the voltage regulator. Now, I'm still waiting for that. Now, the wiring in this car was all butchered, so all of this stuff was missing. There was no voltage regulator, and all of this stuff had uh, just hacky repairs done to it over the years. So once I looked at all the uh, schematics, I'm like, I need a shunt resistor. And people are selling them, listed for 65 Chevelle. So that's where my problem arose. And according to the schematic, we should have this in a 64, but also I found a 65 schematic and it still shows that. So at some point they eliminated the shunt and they didn't tell the people that make the schematics that it shouldn't be there anymore. But what took the place of it? The length of the wire itself became the resistor. You have one wire that's coming from the battery lead and you have another wire coming from the horn relay, which is picking up directly from the voltage uh, off of the alternator. So I guess it's measuring the discrepancy in voltage between this point and that point of the car. And the wires run all the way up to the plug and up to the dashboard. Now, it's not a true ammeter in the sense that it has all current running through it. It's only measuring a portion of the current that's going through it. Most of the current will be traveling right through this area over here, coming from the alternator, going back to the battery to charge it. And that's what it's actually measuring itself. So what is the resistance of the wire? Nobody could tell me. So I tried to find out what it is. So let me hook up a ohm meter and we'll test the ohms from the black and white wire all the way to the gauge and from the black wire all the way to the gauge. Well, let's see what it is. Well, the dash is pulled out in the car and we have a wire hooked up to the black and white wire right now. Coming to our ammeter and let's see what kind of resistance. It's gonna be a very low number. I don't even know if my meter will be able to read anything. That's zero. What did the other range? We got continuity. We got 0.5. Okay, we have it plugged into the black wire now. And the meter is hooked up to the other side right there. Let's see what we had. We had 0.5 on the other one. Let's see what this is. 0.2. Now, I'm no electrical expert. The resistance is different, obviously. Not by much. What does this mean? It means I hope our air meter works. <laughs> well, let's get a resistance reading also from the red wire over to here. I don't know if it should be anything, but let's check what it is. Point one. As you could see, these wires aren't very big. The black and white one is picking up current from the horn relay and the output specifically from the alternator and the black one is reading directly from the battery. So you have both of them sending 12 volts up to it. If one has more current than the other, a small amount of current will pass through the gauge and allow the gauge to uh, show either charge or discharge. So if you have one in your car and it seems to be working backwards, you could just unplug it and flip it the other way. So. This one came off with the black and white on the top, I believe, and that's where I'm gonna put it back on. And uh, does it work? I have no idea. I'm not gonna know until an engine gets put in this car because 
I've never seen this car with an engine in it. So let's uh, button this back up and uh, hope that it works. I did check the continuity of the gauge and it had continuity. I found out after I put the dash back in that I could have tested it with a uh, small battery to see if there was any movement, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna wait till we get the engine in and fire it up. So if you wanna see that happen, tune in next time. And if you like this video and it helped you out, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot too. Thank you. I don't think that's going to hold any more air.